The first movie that I remember seeing was The Little Mermaid. And my parents still tell me stories about going to see that movie with me, and I think I was three years old at the time. And on the way home from seeing that movie in the theaters, I was in the car in the back seat singing the words to the songs that I'd heard in the movie. And um, they kind of looked at each other and were really confused as to how I was remembering the words after seeing the movie only once. The first song that made me fall in love with country music was Blue by Leanne Rimes. That song just completely resonated with me and I think what resonated with me even more was that she was young and she was doing these things that I could only dream about doing. Um, all the things that I would daydream about in my bedroom, she was up there doing and she was 14 years old and I thought there was something so just motivating about that. I grew up listening to Def Leppard because my mom was obsessed with Def Leppard. Then when she was pregnant with me, she listened to it all the time. And when I was growing up, those were the melodies that I was getting played nonstop. At some point when I was about 10 years old, I was watching TV and I was watching a special about Faith Hill. It talked about how she went to Nashville. That's the moment that I realized that Nashville is where you need to be if you want to sing country music. Uh, and from that point on, I thought about nothing but getting to Nashville and dreamed about it and imagined in my head what it looked like and um, how it would be when you finally got there. And so every day I would beg my parents just obnoxiously non-stop. We need to go to Nashville. Please just let's take a trip to Nashville. I just want to go to Nashville so bad on spring break. Can we go to Nashville? And eventually when I was 11 years old, uh, we took my first trip to Nashville. We had heard about this place called Music Row, which is where all the record labels are. And we drove up and down Music Row and I had this little demo CD of me singing karaoke music. And my mom would pull up outside one of the record labels and I would run in and talk to the receptionist and say, hi, I'm Taylor. I'm 11. I want a record deal. Call me. Oh, I didn't wear a cowboy hat. My hair was always too big for that. Like it would, it would like, you know, push it down and it would fro out. I grew up in Pennsylvania and growing up in Pennsylvania and wanting to pursue country music, those are two different things. Uh, <laughs> I remember, uh, you know, when I went through this period of time when I didn't really have that many friends at school, uh, people, kids would just heckle me and, and be like, oh, go sing that country beep. Uh, and then at that point, it just dawned on me that I had to love being different or else I was just going to end up being dark and angry. I definitely was more nervous walking into my first day of my freshman year of high school than I was walking up to record labels and handing them my CD. Uh, I just was so much more comfortable playing a show in front of thousands of people or sitting in a conference room with music industry executives than I was uh, playing at my high school talent show. I kind of started to live in fear of when I would go and sing a national anthem at the 76ers game and if I knew there was going to be a write-up the next day in our local paper, I knew it was going to be a bad day at school for me. When I write songs, I don't hesitate to put names in the songs because that's how I deal with life, you know? It's funny because people that had no idea that I had a crush on them or was interested in them usually won't find out through me telling them, but they will find out when they hear their name in one of my songs. I had an awesome experience with this last record with a song called Hey Steven, because this was a guy who um, opened up a couple shows for me on tour. And um, it was just, you know, talk to him a couple times and, you know, would hang out at catering or whatever, but it was never anything like he would ever know that I liked him. Because I don't ever confess that sort of thing in, re in real life, but I, I really do like to confess it in, in this fantasy music life that I get to live. 
So I wrote this song called Hey Steven, and I sent Steven a text message, and I was like, hey, track five. <laughs> when I am getting up in front of an award show room full of people that I really respect, I always just kind of get butterflies in my stomach and my legs start to kind of shake a little bit, and I'm just like, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Um, but most of the time, like when I'm going out on stage and it's an arena or a stadium even, that's the most fun that I ever, ever have is when I'm in that moment. I have never been more motivated by anything than I am by the sound of screaming people. That's my favorite sound in the world and it can get me to do anything.